Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to see how we can put the dimension on the elevation. Actually, it is the same way totally that can be used for dimensioning your prepared section by determining the difference in height of the structure element. I'm here by Elitier. We are going to start by modifying the dimension settings from default, default settings to our desired settings. As you can see now in our interface, we have toolbox. In the toolbox is where we can find design, document, and more. But in the document is where we are going to see the tool which is called dimension. And then we can open. By default settings, we can find that the settings is on the linear method, but there is cumulative method and baseline method. But now we need to use elevation dimensions. Okay, you can see that the marker type is in the blue color. Let's put on the black. And also, when we go below on the marker and whiteness line option, you can find that the height of the marker size is 3 millimeter. Okay, let's leave. let's use a uh, 3 millimeter. And you can see that we are going to use or to deal with a uh, south elevation. Or oh, it is called in the front elevation. You can open the elevation. This is the elevation of the simple residential building that we are going to see how we can dimension our elevation. We click on the elevation and then specify the point. We may put different point depending on where we want. This is the way you can just put the elevation on a different element of the building. This is this is the all. Yes, height of the doll. It is like a 2.2.1. This window also. It is 5.5.4. And again, we can use 3.7 here. And on the ground, we can check if it is zero. Okay, yeah, it is zero and the thickness of the flow is minus 0 0.2, which means it is 20 centimeter. Okay, this is uh, the simple way that you can use for dimensioning your elevation by using elevation dimensions. Thank you, and I would like to invite you to follow the next videos.